sewing sampler. Basics of sewing with the machine. A sewing machine is just another power tool. It's not difficult to learn, but it does take a bit of practice. Each brand and style is slightly different, so refer to your manual for any changes. Preparing your sewing machine to sew may seem difficult at first, but soon it will be second nature to you. First you have to wind the bobbin. Put the thread on the spool pin. Slide the cap on to secure the thread. Bring your thread around the post as illustrated on top of the machine. Hold your bobbin, thread through one of the holes in the bobbin and put it onto the bobbin winder. Slide the bobbin winder over to activate it and deactivate the needle. Hold the thread firmly. I usually wind the thread around my finger to make sure that it doesn't slip out of my hands. If your thread doesn't break on its own, snip it off once you have the thread started. Press your foot on the pedal to start winding. Go slowly at first, then build up some speed. When the bobbin is full, cut the thread and set it aside. The side of the machine has a knob that you will use to manually move the needle up and down into the fabric. The power switch, which also controls the light, is found here as well as the power plug-in. To thread the machine, follow the numbers on the machine so that you know where the thread goes. Most machines have some sort of guide on them. Slide the thread through the front of the needle hole and out the back. Remove the lid to the bobbin holder. Insert the filled bobbin into the holder and slide the thread through the catch on the rim of the holder as shown. To bring the bobbin thread up, hold the end of the thread that is through the needle. Bring the needle down and it should catch the bobbin thread. When it comes up, you pull on your thread to gently pull the loop all the way up, then bring the rest of the thread up to the top. Bring both threads under the presser foot. If the thread does not come up, that means your bobbin is in the bobbin holder wrong. Once you have it, replace the bobbin case cover. Check the settings on the machine. For a straight stitch, which is what you'll do most of the time, the length should be set at about three. The bottom knob is set at a little dotted line straight stitch. Other stitches that you can choose from are ones for buttonholes and a variety of zigzag stitches. The width is set at zero. The tension should be four and the needle position should be at the center. For the most part, you should not need to adjust anything on the machine, as we generally set them and keep them on these settings. Look at the plate under the needle. Notice that it has a number of lines and fractions on it. They are guides so that you can get the exact width of the seam allowance that you want. Seam allowance is the amount of fabric that you leave on the outside edge of your seam. You want to leave enough seam edge so that if your fabric frays, the seam doesn't fall out. Most commercial patterns have you sew using a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. Put the fabric in your machine and use the lever behind the machine to lower the presser foot onto it. If you forget to lower the presser foot, it will not sew correctly. Press your foot slowly onto the pedal and start sewing. Use the reverse lever to make a couple stitches backwards to lock your stitches in place. Do this whenever you begin to sew and when you end your seam. Use the lines on the plate to guide yourself. This will help you make a nice straight seam. Avoid watching the needle as all it will do is make you cross-eyed. You can practice on a scrap of fabric or even a piece of paper. If you use a piece of paper, you'll probably have to switch out the needle before you start on fabric because the paper will dull the needle. Practice following a line on a piece of fabric or paper draw and or cut curves and practice sewing those as well. Try different stitches like the zigzag stitch. And that's all there is to it. Once you feel confident, you'll be able to sew anything. Thanks for watching Sewing Sampler and Costume Trek, and please subscribe.